AOT and Carlo are about transforming the surgical process. You have to imagine for centuries bone has been cut with saws. What we are planning to do is cutting bone with laser instead. Carlo features a new cutting instrument with a novel technology having no physical representation of the cutting tool itself. It's kind of like a transparent drill or a transparent saw. Well, it's exciting to work on the forefront of a new technology, of course. What we are doing is, is, is new, no one has tried it before. Carlo can provide to the surgeon and the patient any kind of arbitrary geometries, cuts, to match to a functionality, providing stability, for example, or also to match certain implants. And thus, follow-up surgeries can be neglected or other uh, less material can be used in the OR and for the patient. One of the challenges is that we want to tackle is we want to make Carlo C. For this, we are using a technology called OCT. You can think about OCT as something like uh, ultrasound, but with la laser light. So AOT um, wanted to analyze images live during the surgery, and with machine learning and computer vision, these images can be analyzed and then report on the progress of the surgery and guide the surgery. For this, they already had built a prototype machine learning models, and now the challenge was how to um, bring them onto the robot, how to make them compliant to the medical device um, regulations. And here, Antilke came in. Antilke brought in all the lack of knowledge and know-how we had. And they also provided us on a short basis with resources that we actually could manage our very ambitious timelines. The partnership was extremely constructive, cooperative, and they, from the beginning, had a very structured plan to bring in their knowledge, analyzing the problem, and then supporting us in various stages of the development to reach our goal.